Welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping back by and checking me out. Hey, if you hit, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button down in the corner. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to do that, please. Uh, it helps our channel grow and we need that right now more than anything. Uh, <laughs> we are back in the shop on this 2005 Chevrolet Suburban uh, Z71. It's got a 5.3 LS motor in it and my wife drives it daily. Um, we're having a problem. Uh, we've had a problem uh, for a while now. I've just been too uh, busy and lazy to uh, address it. Um, it doesn't want to accept fuel when you go to the gas pump. Bailey, say hi. Hi. High five. Good girl. Bailey's helping me in the shop today. It's crazy windy outside. We're having like hurricane type winds outside today. Anyway, uh, go to the gas pump, stick the nozzle in, uh, go to try to put gas in, you can get about a half a gallon in it and it clicks off. And then it's a fighting game after that to get anything in it. So I've done some research. Uh, I mean, these, these things are um, notorious for the charcoal canisters coming apart inside and putting the little charcoal pieces all throughout the fuel emission system or the venting system for the gas tank. And I'm talking about, man, you can't get gas in it to save your life. Um, you'll, you'll spend 30 minutes to get five gallons in it sometimes. It's, it's a very annoying thing. And my wife's about to kill me if I don't fix it. So here we go. We're going to fix this thing today. We bought some parts. Uh, got an AC Delco charcoal canister. Brand new. So basically when I take that one off, it probably will pour carbon pellets out. Uh, I've got a stereo system for this thing too. I just haven't put it, had time to put it in. We also have uh, the vent, uh, solenoid, and the purge valve solenoid that goes up on the motor. These things uh, are notorious. The, this is all connected from the gas tank. These things are notorious for filling the whole line up with all the little pieces from the charcoal canister. So we're going to replace it all. I think I bought all these parts for like 120 bucks on Amazon. Um, you can get them at your local parts dealers too. They had a good deal on Amazon on them. I just went ahead and bought them all. Well, I don't have time to uh, be fooling around with this thing a hundred times. So I'm going to uh, pop the hood, take the purge solenoid off. I'm going to raise it up. We're going to unhook the lines underneath and try to blow air through them all. If I can get shop air blown through them all without having to lower the gas tank, I'm gonna go ahead and put these three items on and we're gonna reconnect and go to the gas station to see if we can get gas in it. Uh, if it does not, uh, if I can't get air to blow through, I'm gonna have to lower the gas tank, which I normally do with that transmission jack, but we've got this LS project we're stalled out waiting on parts on. Uh, we're waiting on all the air conditioning stuff from Vintage Air, it's like an eight week wait. So if you're wondering about that video, those videos, that's what's happening with that. But it, we're going to cut the bell housing off this, uh, hopefully this weekend, uh, to put the ultra bell on. But I usually use that jack stand to lower gas tanks in and out. And uh, I don't have that ability. I don't have anybody. I mean, I guess I could take the engine hoist and take the transmission off. But I, I don't want to take that off and have to put it right back on to cut the bell housing. Um, well, I guess I cut the bell housing on the floor or something. But... Anyway, we're going to get this thing going here. We're going to pop the hood. And, uh, man, it's a mess in here. I've got to get some organized organization going on in here. Uh, we got some, bought some shelves. I've got some ideas on shifting some of this mess around, storing some of my woodworking stuff. I think I'm going to move my toolbox over here, blah, blah, blah. We'll, we'll get into that in another video. All right. Got a video coming up on recovering these seats, putting a stereo in this thing. We are uh, revitalizing this old Suburban. It runs too good not to. It's super dirty. Okay, we'll remove the cover. Covers up the top of the intake. And there is our solenoid here. So this is the first thing we're gonna take off. Um, Gonna unplug the electrical connector and then uh, can 
can't remember how this works here. <coughs> work this clip out. Uh oh. She's a little brittle. that clip um, as you can see there is charcoal pieces see them they're just coming out everywhere it's all the way up here so this thing is clogged it shoved charcoal canister pieces all the way to the motor that's why I wanted to start up here first uh, we know we got to replace that valve now I'm glad I bought it uh, as far as the clip goes, it fell down in the intake. I think I can save it. I think I can get it out of there, uh, and hopefully salvage that. Uh, if not, then I don't know. We may have to put a zip tie over it or something. It's not a big deal. Um, it's pretty brittle. This thing's got like 230,000 miles on it or something. So 05. So it's pretty old. So plastic pieces are going to break. Those little clips, uh, are kind of a pain in the butt. So... Anyway, we're going to get this thing up in the air and uh, start undoing the bottom side. And then I'll take shop air and I'll blow it from here down. I'll put a new valve in there. It just comes out with a 10 millimeter bolt right here. It just pops right out. Um, <clears throat> so we'll blow shop air from here down once the lines are disconnected down there. And hopefully we can get all this charcoal out. And my wife can uh, fuel this thing up like a normal person when she goes to the gas pump. Okay. So we've got, this is our line from up front. So I'm going to unhook it here and I'm going to blow through there. And it goes down and around. Um, and there's my charcoal canister and my other valve. Hopefully we can just take those down and blow through the lines and I don't have to pull the gas tank down because uh, the pump's working fine. So, but if I do, if I do have to pull that gas tank down, I'm probably gonna put a new pump in it because they're notorious for going bad anyway and they're a pain in the butt to take these tanks out. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and start disconnecting this kind of stuff here. Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to film because I need two hands and uh, I can't wear the light on my head and the camera on my head at the same time. So you get the gist of it. Here's your valve. It's got an electrical connector and a valve. And then you got the airlines, two airlines go into, or vapor lines, whatever you want to call them, go into the charcoal canister. So we'll take these down and pull the canister down, swap that out, blow through all these lines, and hopefully we get a free flowing system. All right, I'm uh, lowering the, or unhooking the charcoal canister, got the bolts out of it, and I popped this line off, and man, the, I just got showered 
they're all over the floor. You might not be able to see them in this lighting, but um, sorry about my lighting. I've got the door shut, so it's a little dark in here because of all the wind. It's just blowing like crazy outside, so I'm trying to blind you with this light. But the charcoal cans are slammed full of those little pieces. They're just pouring out. I'll show you in just a second when I get this down. All right, we're going to take it over the garbage can. Watch this. Yeah. Oh, here, get this off. Get some parts transferred over this hose to the valve. That valve, all this stuff mounts together. So, I don't want that on the floor because Bailey's laying over there on the floor. Um, I get these parts transferred over. blow through this hose individually um, just to make sure there's nothing hiding in there take some shop air and see the dust come out of that thing stuck on it <laughs> okay And change this bracket out and this valve. apron for my new Hot Rod Dave t-shirt. My fat belly's getting dirty. Alright. Charcoal canister on bolts like that. Clip off of this one. Sure, go over go. On the floor. Pop that clip off. That's the little line that goes up to the filler neck on the gas tank. I'll blow through that as well. I got it upside down. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's right.
really don't play, by the way. You don't play, do you, dog? So this is your house. Hey, I know it's your house. Who is it? Happy you stuck in the well? Or Timmy? <laughs> Timmy stuck in the well, Lassie? <laughs> you gotta get the name straight there. Alright. I believe that's how that one goes. If not, I'll flip it around. Uh, okay, here we go. Ready to go back in after I blow the lines out. And this dog stops barking. Who is it? Who is it? Who's out there? Who is it? What is it? Who is it, girl? It's getting hot in here. Ooh, man, it's almost 80. All right, we're opening the door, see if we can take take the wind who is it girl who is it Master Jacob coming home from school. His brother will be coming up, pulling up the tail end in a minute. Jake usually runs off and leaves him. Jake's my sprinter. First thing I'm going to do is blow through that one back towards the engine because it's unhooked up there. Uh, but I don't have to worry about anything getting anything into anything because I still have the valve into the intake didn't pull that out yet So we're gonna pop through that real quick good airflow through that um, mainly because it's exposed and I can't plug that off very good um, so probably now I'll blow from up top down here one time before I hook it back up and now I'll blow through these Not 100% certain that that's good and good airflow through that, so I'm gonna sp spray some brake clean through that hose and then spray it so I can see it come down. So I don't have another person here to get on the other end of it and say, Yeah, there's air coming out of it. So uh, a little bit of brake clean in that tube, and then I'll blow air through it again from up here and see if we see it wet down there. All right, we're gonna put our new stuff on, see what happens. All right, we're all hooked up, 
back down uh, downstairs there. Ooh, that's an eight millimeter on this one, not a 10. Let's see if I can get it with this eight right here. Oh yeah. got enough trash out of the system where I don't have to take the gas tank down because I don't like taking the gas tanks down these things but I will because you got to do what you got to do Here's the old one. See, charcoal. Charcoal, man. Charcoal, and we're not even grilling out. Got a little slot it sits on on that side, see? And of course, you know, it's got a one and only eight millimeter headed bolt on this one. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. I forgot. And I'm gonna show you so you don't forget. So you can learn from my mistakes. See this clip? Why the new one doesn't come with it, I don't know. It's kind of rubbery. You slide that over that. And over that. I believe that'll take that wiggle out. Oh no. I hope I didn't fall. I did though. Dang it. Oh boy. I got a magnet for that. Huh. Yeah. Oh no. Where are my magnets? This is what happens when you don't put your tools up. Bingo. Both of them sitting right there. Okay. Now I gotta get the clip for that, which is sitting down there as well. I got a tool for that too. Old mechanical fingers. Let's see if I can get it out of there. <laughs> First try. Now let's see if I can make it work again.
I don't think she's going anywhere. Let me put a zip tie around that just to keep that clip in. Let's do that. He's a great American hero. Zip tie. Will it stay? I don't know. Do I care? Not really. It's my car. If it comes off, I'll fix it again. It's not going anywhere. Oh, don't forget to plug it in. Put your fancy dancy cover back on. Because you want everybody to think that this is a Vortec. Or no, this is a Vortec. You want them to know. get this thing or get I'm gonna clean myself up put a couple tools away and we're gonna go stick see if we can get some gas pump into this thing I don't know if you can read that or not but it's got a 420 catalyst code it's got a 446 evaporative vent system performance which we just replaced and it's got a uh, evap system large leak detected we're gonna clear these out and see what happens and we'll go for a ride you will go for a ride in mama suburban Come on, let's go for a ride. Hop in. Good girl. All right, I can get out of here. Uh, we have any vehicles, it's gonna be a, uh, uh, I can go through the yard. Dog loves for ride. All right, we're at the gas pumps. We're gonna jump out and check this thing. We'll take some fuel now. Before it would not take any. Isn't that right, Bailey? Still doing it. Still doing it. All right, so back from the test drive, of course, uh, with a Suburban getting gas and it's still not taking gas. So uh, we know we needed those components because they're slammed full of those little pieces of uh, carbon, but we still have a clogged line somewhere. And I'm thinking it's possibly where it goes into the fuel pump module into the tank, uh, but not positive. So my next step is going to be removing the gas tank and uh, clearing those lines and uh, possibly uh, potentially putting a new fuel pump in it while I've got it down. Uh, even though the one that's in it's fine, uh, I don't know, I just, if I got it out, I may just put one in it. I've got to drive it to uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama in a month with the family and for a baseball tournament. We're gonna be down there for a week 
and I'd hate for the fuel pump to go out, especially since I just had the tank out. I could have put a pump in it, but I didn't because I didn't want to spend the money. I might as well put a pump in it while I got it out. Um, they're notorious for going bad in these things, so we're going to get it right. It's going to be a two-part video. If you uh, want to see the second part, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, help me grow this channel. Um, come back and see me again. We're going to dive into this thing in the next few days. We just didn't have time. We, we got baseball tournaments all this weekend, so we didn't have time to pull the gas tank out, but we'll, we'll get it done this week um, at some point and uh, hopefully make it easier to put fill in this thing. All right, tune back. Thanks. Peace.